Hey y'all, hoping you're having a fantastic day. I'm being a little bit quiet because while I'm filming, it is a little bit early in the morning. And I also gotta make this quick because I gotta get to work. So the theme of today is, if you couldn't tell by the title, <laughs> I'm gonna be testing out two um, eye primers. One of them is super popular. This is the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I have the shade Rumor 2 and I have the mini Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow base and it's brand new and we're just gonna be seeing how these last throughout the day so we're just gonna get right into it on the right side I'm gonna be applying the P. Louise base I'm gonna do that like right now <laughs> and I just how I apply stuff is this right to my skin little dots I kind of like blink up so that I can see exactly how far that's going to transfer and then I just blend that in with my beauty sponge. Sometimes I use my little Sailor Moon brush that I go in for like underneath my brow line to clean up my brows if I feel like I need that. Alrighty and so that just makes the application that much smoother. It is still a little bit tacky which is something that I don't care for because I've realized that when I use bases that are still tacky, <sighs> my eyes just kind of like eat it up. And then for comparison on the, oh Jesus. Ugh, maybe I need to get the big one because this one just like, I can't really control it. It just kind of squirts everywhere. And as you can tell, the color is much lighter. And we're just gonna do our best. To blend that in. That is my only gripe about this ADH eyeshadow base is that it is super light. I mean like it is white. At least on my skin. It comes out pretty white and there's nothing I can really do about that. Now if you're wondering why it is starting to change color is because I did use this for my foundation. I don't really care and I also did use it to blend out my concealer that I have that I haven't set yet because I know that I'm going to put eyeshadow powder over it anyways. And yes, sorry if the fun part for you is seeing me do my base, but I've cut that out because I just want to make this a quick video. Like this is just a review. I'm going to do my best to do check-ins, but the thing is I don't think that I'm really allowed to film while I'm at, while I'm at work. So I'm going to be really careful and really sneaky about that. All right, so the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use today is the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Now, no, I'm not telling you to buy this. This is not a review of the Lila palette. This is only a review of the eyeshadow bases. This is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen it before. Lots of beautiful colors, hardly any purple. There's like three dedicated purple shades and one that's like a bit more red down here. But the reason why I'm using the Lila palette is because this is the only eyeshadow formula that I can use on myself or others that I don't need a base and it still lasts all day. The shadow palette itself is a control because I know how it wears on its own. I have not used it yet with my P. Louise base or my brand new Anastasia eyeshadow primer that I've only used this once. So now this is going to be my second time using this um, eyeshadow primer and my fourth time using this on myself I have used this twice on other people and for some reason like on other people I like this a lot better than I like it on me and we're just gonna see how we're just like aside from my opinions that I have already formed on the product I want you guys to see how they perform side by side and I definitely have to remember so remember with me okay right side is P. Louise left side okay I'm sorry let's get this right for you guys the left side which is my right side is is p louise and my left side which is your right side is going to be abh Alrighty, so i'm just going to do a simple shadow look the first color that i'm going to use from this palette okay it's this brown shade called amara and i know it looks a little deep but i'm pretty good at blending it out Okay, I didn't, didn't expect that on the P. Louise side. What about the ABH side? Okay, basically the same 
basically the same. Yeah, that's, um, that's a lot. I need a different brush to really buff that out because, oh my lord, that was way more pigmented than I intended and I do not want to start over because I've only got like probably 20 minutes before I gotta get to work. And this is not gonna be a 20 minute video. I just want something simple and punchy and I'm just blending that as much as I can, diffusing it using windshield wiper motions. So it looks like I barely applied any color at all. So that's gonna be my transition crease shade. Now we're gonna mix that color with the shade Nude Vino. And we're just gonna pack that onto the outer corner. And yes, my brush already is like really stained up from using the Alyssa Edwards palette. Don't care. <laughs> and anyways, the rain is getting really heavy. So hopefully that isn't in the background. I will do my best to edit out that audio. I'm not the best at editing audio. I'm better, well, relatively because I'm very new to video editing. I edit my videos myself. I am much better at editing the video, <laughs> like trimming for time. That's basically all I really do with editing my video is trim for time. I recently got a new camera because I noticed while I was filming with my iPhone, the first probably five videos on my channel all filmed with my, either my iPad or my iPhone. And I like the quality. However, my lighting situation, because you know, I have a situation. <laughs> Um, I noticed that whenever my camera would focus on me, it would change lighting a lot. So this camera that I got, I'm loving it so far because the videos that I filmed with it so far, the lighting stays consistent. I'm going to go into viola and we're just going to pack that on. Yep. That, that's that's going to be my thing. Slightly goes with my lipstick, slightly doesn't. I've been trying to match my lipsticks with my looks as of late, but I realized that before I started my channel, like literally two weeks before I purged a lot of my makeup that I just wasn't using and I knew wouldn't be sanitary to give to anybody else. And one of those things was lipsticks. I had, I want to say about like 20 that I just couldn't, I just couldn't. And as you know, we are just packing this on. Pat, don't swipe because like, it probably do, doesn't look like anything, but as I'm swiping, like look, I'm already ruining the color right there. You probably can't see it, I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna have to work harder to pack. And what I'm noticing is that the pigmentation on both sides looks very similar. I wanted to film this video because a couple days ago, I was doing a very basic eyeshadow look using the Alyssa Edwards palette from ABH. Yo, like, I was gonna do a video about, you know, like, ooh, the ABH primer versus the P. Louise uh, eye primer base, but like, dude, I'm using, um, you know what, I'm still, I'm still gonna do a video because I'm using one of the bases right now and uh, I haven't done anything. I haven't stepped out of the house yet. Like I'm getting ready for work. Like this wasn't gonna be a filmed look. I didn't film anything. And like, and it's not the eyeshadow because I've used this eyeshadow palette. I already filmed a look with it. It's um, the new Alyssa Edwards palette. I know, I did a really weak sauce basic look with it because I haven't done a basic look like for work in, in a sec. So um, I'm like, I'm like high key, like, dude, really? Like, this is not what I bought you for. Like it is, I don't know if you can even see it, but like, look, look at like right, right there. It is not the eyeshadow. It's this freaking primer that I don't like, that stuff doesn't stick to it. <sighs> Anyways, that being said, 
Y'all have a good day. <laughs> okay, so update. I'm back home finally. I'm tired. My eyeliner is crusty. <laughs> I'll talk about that um, in the, the, like, I'm definitely doing a video on this because, oh my god. Um, and I'll use this liner and tell you what it is and why I can't stand it and why I probably will never use it again. Um, yeah, but, um, update specifically on the shadow and the base, um, compared to what it was this morning, it really hasn't deteriorated much more. It's basically in the same crappy state that it's been in all day. I don't know what to make of that because like the application should have been great from the jump and <laughs> so okay whatevs i'm taking this crap off like oh my god like yes it was weak sauce it was really basic i was just testing out to see what the brown you know like neutral shades would look on me because you know not every eyeshadow shade is poc friendly and by the way, if you're not attuned to the lingo, POC means person of color. I try my best to make shades work, but not every shade is going to work. So I wanted to try that out. I like it, but it's a little weak sauce. So we're gonna put, what is this? Pour Pure on top. I don't know how to pronounce that, which is strange because like, I'm very adamant about pronouncing things correctly, considering that my uh, legal name, <laughs> people do not know how to pronounce, regardless of the fact of how phonetical it is. So don't ask me what it is, just call me Leo. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. It makes it just the tiniest bit shinier and warmer. Because like with my skin, if you've seen my genie look, you know that blue-based or cooler toned shadows kind of turn colors on me because, you know, I'm a more neutral yellow base and, you know, yellow plus cool blue or whatever equals green. And that's not exactly the look that I'm going for today. Warmer tones are going to complement my skin just a little bit better. Not to say that I'm not ever gonna work with those shades, just, you know, when I don't wanna work too hard, <laughs> I just go in with shades that I know are gonna work. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade in this palette. It's called Layla. It's not really all that dark. And I'm just packing that on just to give my eyes a little bit more depth because I'm not liking the lack of depth. Looks like I got some fallout. That's just beautiful, delicious. This is why I like to do my eyes first, but you know, I didn't want to come back on camera and do all my base stuff because that takes a load of time. And this is just focusing on eyes today. Really the thing with eyeshadow that's gonna take you the longest time, all honesty, it's, it's gonna be blending and it's gonna be diffusing colors to kind of create the illusion that you don't know when they start or end, that they blend and fuse seamlessly into each other. I personally can do it quickly because I paint, like I do traditional paint media and I also do digital art. So I've kind of had to train my hand to get used to that. So the next color I'm going in with for an inner corner shade is Helio. And now we're gonna go ahead and go onto the bottom lash line. We'll see later how much I regret doing that. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna hop into the shade Amethyst. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I know I'm gonna have to clean up my base in a second. <sighs> this is gonna give me some fallout. And the reason why I'm dragging this out like that from my bottom outer corner, like bottom lash line, 
is so that I give myself an even line or like sort of like guideline for my eyeliner. That's a little trick that you can do if you like doing your bottom lash line first, like before your eyeliner. It'll help you keep it even, especially if you're new to doing winged liner. Okay, so I guess I'm officially a YouTuber because my battery just died. <laughs> okay, so yeah, anyways, thank God that I had a backup because literally ain't nobody got time for that. Noticed another issue with my outer corner. So I'm just gonna dip back into Amara and Layla and deepen that up. This is what happens when you rush, guys. Take your time. I'm gonna try not to trim as much so that you can see in real time how to get a bold look like this. Like, it's really, really quick. That's one of the reasons why Natasha Denona designed her eyeshadows like this, because her story is that she used to be a dancer and she and her other dancers would have to do their own makeup and they needed to do it quickly. So she wanted rich buttery shadows that give you pigment and blend out easily just in case you apply too much on accident and then boom, you've got a look. I respect that. The price, do I respect? Uh, no, because no, I did not buy this at full price. I had to buy it on sale because I am broke. <laughs> because we're using shimmery shadows, I have to go into a gel liner Also update on the Sigma brush. It's probably not gonna focus. I'm so sorry. I did condition it and it is no longer scratching the crap out of my eyes, but it shouldn't have been scratching the crap out of my eyes to begin with. So heads up. For some reason, my left side is always my struggle side. Just like when I draw my character designs, like, oh yeah, I got I got one side of the face done. Now draw the other side. <laughs> okay, close enough. Because my glasses are probably going to be covering this anyways. Story of my life. I'm going to go quickly in with some highlight. I'm using Anastasia Aurora palette. And I'm using the shade Spectra. just because I want a nice purple reflect. Unfortunately, probably my lighting is blowing out, so you probably can't even see that it is reflecting purple. You're probably just like, ooh, blinding highlight. <laughs> I probably need to invest in some better lighting. All right, setting spray. And of course, Puerto Rico, gotta represent. I'm gonna do lashes off camera. Now this is the completed look, okay? Yes, we get it, it's cute, great. We're focusing on the eyeshadow today. So just keep in mind, this is what it looks like right now. This side is P. Louise, look at it in, in, in all its glory. This side is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I already have an idea of where this is going to go, but we'll see if maybe that day that I tested one of them with the new ABH palette with Alyssa Edwards, we'll, we'll see if that was a fluke. I do have video footage of what that mystery base, which I'm going to tell you at the end of the day what it was. I do have footage of that on my Twitter and Instagram. <sighs> Alrighty. 
this is this is going to be a day all right i'll try and do like two check-ins through the day it's rainy and humid outside so you know even more of a chance for either side to slide off because even though i have done my makeup while i lived in puerto rico north carolina and now and now here in the south i've lived in humid areas for a long time so i've learned how to get products and use products in certain ways so that my makeup does not end up sliding off my entire face. So we shall see how it holds up in this nice, humid, beautiful, rainy day. Alrighty, so I'll see you guys back in a few hours. It's 9.06 in the morning right now while I'm filming and I should be back home around like five, maybe six o'clock. So we'll see, I'll check the time when uh when i get back all right see you in a few hours all right y'all i'm back it's been a day <sighs> cue dramatic music but anyways no this isn't about that <laughs> i'm gonna try and keep it light and just keep it about the makeup you know my day does not matter i gotta let you know though it was it was humid it was raining. I got really sweaty, especially inside of my job where it's like, it's still 80 degrees. The The broiler is really hot. The fryer is really hot. So, you know, dealing with that sort of a climate indoors. And then when I was going in and out of the store, you know, while I was working, like it was super humid outside too. So there was just like no relief for my face. It held up pretty well as I expect. However, eyeshadow. So like I said earlier today, you know, I know this palette, I've used it without primer on myself and others, and it holds up very well on its own. So I don't really know what's going on today. Maybe it's just like my skin or something, but I got to show y'all, I should um, include the footage that I have. Um, but the thing is it, that footage was on my phone in the front facing camera mode. So it's not as um, vibrant, the colors, you can't really see that well what's wrong with the shadow, um, but you'll see in that video that it was really patchy, even upon like first application. So yeah, let me scooch in for y'all so you can see, but let's, let's remember that this right side is the P. Louise side, and this left side is the ABH side. So this side, it's a little bit hard to see, but there is a little bit of patchiness and separation. The color has faded. Um, oh, I got out of focus, but there's a little bit of patchiness and separation. The color has faded significantly compared to this side, which is the ABH side. There's still like a little bit of lines, but you know, that's natural. You're a human being. If you've got lines on uh, on your eyelids already, you know, after like eight hours, like how long has it been? It's 6.43 right now. It's been a day. I literally just got home. And so like this, this is normal. This is what I expect to see, but the pigmentation is very similar to what I had this morning when I first started out. This side, however, is just, you know, also excuse my wonky eyelash. Like I was in a rush trying to put my lashes on. So yeah, you can definitely see that this side, especially right here where my eyes produce the most oil, like it's, it's faded. She's, she's clocked out early. Whereas this side is still going very strong. I would, I would leave the house without doing any fussiness with my eyeshadow whatsoever if I had this primer on both eyes. So to reveal the mystery base that was in that footage, that that was the P. Louise primer that I used on both eyes that day in that footage. And I was incredibly disappointed. As you can tell from the footage, it was just bad. And the thing is that ABH palette with Alyssa Edwards is brand new. And this Lila palette I've had for over a year. You know, like it's, it's not the palettes, it's the base. And maybe it's just my eye chemistry that doesn't mesh well with that base because it didn't from day one when I, when I first used it all the way back in, I want to say October, I got it in October of 2018. 
didn't didn't really care for it then don't care for it now and now i have the abh primer and you know even though it's the mini i know it's going to last me a long time and i definitely like the performance of this better and i love that it's matte it's not sticky you know and just my my only issue my only gripe about this is that it's a little bit maybe it's just because it's the mini but it's a little bit hard to control this is my second time using it and it's just like I said, it's a little bit hard to control. I think that I'm putting a, just a tiny little dot and it ends up being way more than I actually need. So that being said, love this side. This side, I'm very disappointed with. Take that as you will. For some, the ABH primer is gonna work better. And for some, the P. Louise primer is going to work better. For certain, Twitter reasons, as I shall say, y'all can look it up yourselves if you're interested. I don't really want to get into that on this channel, but for certain social media reasons, I would prefer not just because of that, also because the product itself is much better, but also for other reasons, I would prefer to use the ABH to the P. Louise anyways. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and definitely subscribe. If you have liked my videos thus far, just subscribe, stick around, hit that bell so that you're notified whenever I post something new, which is always gonna be Monday and Friday, no excuses. Yes, I have a job, but I have made a schedule and I'm gonna make this work because I love doing this. It's so fun, I get to be creative you know, and it's just another outlet and I get to show what my makeup looks like and how it, you know, just wears throughout the day. By the way, I'm so sorry that I didn't get to film a check-in. It was just crazy today. I had no time to myself. None. Zero. Yeah, just, just none. <laughs> so I'm sorry that I didn't get to film any other updates. I'll try to squeeze them in in the future, but it all it all just depends on how work goes that day. I mean, honestly, it's it doesn't it doesn't always go the way we want it to go. Interact with me on my socials linked here and also interact with me in the comments. I love knowing what y'all have to say. You know, I encourage it. I want to speak to you guys. This is a community. It's a safe space where we can talk about makeup. You know, you can ask questions. Definitely, if you feel like I didn't go in depth enough on something, let me know and I'll go further, you know, in depth just to help y'all because this is to help y'all and for y'all to, you know, get another perspective on makeup that's honest. I wanna be as transparent as possible because it doesn't help anyone to have like excessive lighting to blow out and diffuse your face until it looks absolutely immaculate when it's not. It doesn't help anyone to use filters or heavily Photoshop any pictures that you might take of your makeup, especially if you're trying to brand yourself as an honest and transparent platform. Like, no, I'm not ever going to do that. First of all, I don't like to see it myself because I'm just like, this isn't real. I wanna see what it really looks like. And two, I don't even have time. I have time to edit the video by trimming it for time and inserting the necessary information. And that's it, good to go because y'all deserve to see the truth of how this makeup actually wears and how it actually looks like. That being said, that's my brand. This is what I'm here for. And I'm so glad that y'all like it so far. And I can't wait for y'all to see how this journey progresses because I am here and we are gonna party with makeup. All right, thank y'all so much for watching. I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>